CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.2 Given a Scenario, Use the Appropriate Microsoft Command Line Tool. IP Config. The command line interface comes with a vast array of tools. We have learned how to navigate and manipulate the different file systems of a device. Now, let's explore the other tools the CLI has to offer. In the next several videos, we will do just that. First up on our journey is a tool that every IT professional should be familiar with, ipconfig. The ipconfig command is a powerful utility used in Windows operating systems to display and manage the network settings of a computer. It provides crucial information about your network interfaces, such as the device's network or host name, IP addresses, subnet masks, and default gateways, helping IT professionals troubleshoot and configure network connections. Alright, let's roll up our sleeves and get cozy with ipconfig. Imagine your computer as a busy office, and the ipconfig command is your go-to office manager who knows everything about the network setup. When you type ipconfig in the command prompt and press enter, you're essentially asking this office manager to give you a detailed rundown of the network status. The most basic use of the command is to type the command by itself. Some of the items we need to know and pay attention to at this point in our studies are the IP address assigned to your network adapters, the subnet masks defining your local networks, and the default gateways, which is the pathway your computer uses to communicate with other networks like the internet. Now, let's delve deeper with ipconfig forward slash all. This command provides even more comprehensive information about your network configuration. When you run ipconfig forward slash all, you get detailed information about each network adapter including the device's host name, the physical hardware or MAC addresses for each network adapter, DHCP server information, DNS server information, and more. This is incredibly useful for troubleshooting more complex network issues and understanding the complete network configuration. Now, that information might be helpful, but ipconfig is more than just a status report. It can also help you actively manage your network settings. For example, if your computer can't connect to the network, you might need to refresh your IP address. If you are working with a DHCP server, you can do this by typing ipconfig forward slash release, which releases your current DHCP settings, followed by ipconfig forward slash renew, which requests new settings from the DHCP server. Think of this as asking the office manager to reassign your desk to a new location. It can resolve conflicts and get you back online with a fresh start. Another useful feature is ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. DNS, or domain name system, is like the office phone directory, translating website names and host names into IP addresses so you can find and connect to them. Sometimes, this directory gets outdated or corrupted, leading to connection problems. Running ipconfig forward slash flush DNS clears out the old entries, ensuring your computer gets the latest information. It's like updating the office directory to ensure everyone's extension numbers are current. For more detailed troubleshooting, you can use ipconfig forward slash display DNS to view the current DNS entries cached on your computer. This can help you identify if there are outdated or incorrect entries causing issues. Let's consider a real-world scenario. Suppose you're in an office and a colleague can't access the company's shared files. The first step might be to run ipconfig on their computer to check their network settings. If you find that their IP address is missing or incorrect, you might choose to use ipconfig forward slash release and ipconfig forward slash renew to obtain a new IP address from the DHCP server. If they're having trouble accessing a specific website, ipconfig forward slash flush DNS might help by clearing out any problematic DNS entries. Either way, at least you have one more tool you can use when network issues arise. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.